guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So excited to have you for another video. This video is going to be our first review video ever, which is so exciting. Today, I'm going to review the Soy Light Wax Melter for you guys. As I previously touched on on our last video, we are still using the double boiler method. So today, I thought, okay, I'm going to open up this box and review the wax melter for you guys because I know a lot of you are fellow candle makers as well and I want to quickly say thank you so much for all the love on our previous video I'm like so excited and happy to have met so many people from that video and you guys have all gone over to my Instagram and I've been able to have conversations with you so literally thank you thank you thank you like that means the world to know that there's just so many beautiful people out here and we're just here supporting each other. So if you want to see me review this soy wax melter, just keep watching. So here we have the box. So it's a pretty decent sized box. I actually thought it would be bigger, but just a couple things to run down with you. I bought this on Amazon, but I do believe they sell this on their site, um, Soy Light. Soy Light candles.com oh, excuse me soylightcandlesupplies.com so the box comes like this it has a little bit of product information here and it looks like i have to assemble this which is kind of annoying because i don't like to assemble things but i guess here we go <laughs> but here's the lid so by the way i have not opened this this is i'm doing everything on camera so you guys are able to see my first impressions um but i guess this is the lid so the price of this was $80. I was originally going to go with the Presto Pod, but I did decide to go with this one because it already has the pouring pitcher and other candle makers that have purchased the Presto Pod have to buy a ladle. And I didn't want to go through that whole thing. So I did decide to buy this one because of that reason. So again, I bought this on Amazon and it was $80. So this holds six quarters of wax, and if you're using ounces, it holds 192 ounces. And if you're using quarters, this holds about, I have, I have 5,678 grams. As you guys know, I do use grams. Shout out to Memory Box for motivating me to switch over to grams. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna do grams, so we're gonna do all of that. But for right now, let's unbox this thing. So, well, very well packaged. Everything looks pretty good. So it seems like we're gonna have to assemble this. And this is pretty much what it looks like. Oh my God, guys, look, it has like a little picture. This is literally why I bought it, because I wanted, I wanted my wax to come out of here. Like, this is crazy. I can't even believe that. I'm about to make candles on here. This is so exciting. This is honestly really exciting to me. <laughs> but it looks kind of small. It, I think it looks a little bit bigger on camera, but for real, it looks a little small in here. How is it supposed to hold 5,000 grams of wax? We'll see, because to me it looks a bit small. But let's take out all the components. How to attach the lights and handles. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> Why couldn't have just came prepared? And we're back. So I just fully assembled the wax melter. I added the legs, the handles, and then the temperature control right here, the cord. And I will say that it's a bit short, so I'll make sure that you have an extension nearby wherever you connect this. Um, and also this detaches, it's like a magnetic, attachment so it comes off very easily uh so that's something to keep in mind too if you're candle making around kids i will say this will get hot so please be careful a couple things that i do want to note and tell you guys it says here to always wear gloves i don't have gloves so i will be purchasing some gloves um never let the heat never let the wax heat up past 190 degrees you shouldn't be heating up your wax past 190 degrees anyways you should probably stop around 195 
uh, cause you know that we add the fragrance oil at 185 like I previously discussed. If you haven't seen my video where I go in depth about candle making, I'll add a card right here, check that out and then come back to this video. Um, that way you know if you need to purchase the wax melter or not. It also says never drain 90% or more of the wax. This will cause overheating. I'm not sure what that means. So I don't know, I guess that's just one of those things that we're gonna have to wait out and see. And then it says, make sure there is always an ample amount of wax in the melter at all times when heating. So I think that's what, I think what that means is make sure that the wax melter has enough wax at all times, because if it has a little bit of wax, it could overheat very quickly. So that's not gonna be a problem here because the reason why I bought this is so I can make a multiple, multiple candles at the same time. So enough talking, let's get to this. So right behind me, I have the pot. I set the temperature to 300, so I, I'm, like I said, we're testing things out, so we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna measure on my wax, and then we're gonna add it. So I have a quick question while I do all of this. I wanna know, to all my candle makers that are probably watching this video, why did you guys start candle making? Like, I'm really curious about everyone's stories, because I have a very in-depth story about why I started candle making, but Take this moment, I really want to know why did you decide to start candle making? I'm very interested in knowing these stories. <laughs> okay guys, sorry for the dark angle here. So I wanted you guys to see how the wax reacts. So right here I have 918 grams of wax and we're gonna add it and see what happens. I'm like so excited, I feel like I'm on, like doing a science experiment. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty hot. Um, this is like pretty hot. I put it to 300 and immediately got hot. So I'm just gonna pour it. It's immediately melting down as you can see. So I think that we can pour another 918 grams here. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, it's melting, it kind of looks like popcorn. So I am going to add another 918 grams of wax. This is going to give me eight candles. I honestly could do more, but I'm gonna stop right here because I kind of want to see how it all reacts. And we want to wait for the wax to get to 190 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll add our fragrance oil. So let's see how it melts. We want to make sure there's no cloudiness. We want to make sure that all the wax gets melted. We want to make sure that the pouring pitcher works and we wanna see how the actual, excuse me, the pouring spout. We wanna see, I kinda want, I'm interested to see how the spout works and then we want to see how easy it is to measure the already melted wax with our scale. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right guys, I had an ultimate fail. I let my first batch of wax overheat. So this is my second pot of wax. So this gets hot very quickly. So you have to keep an eye on it. Right now it's about 192. So yeah, we're going to put it on warm. Actually, should we just turn it off? I'm just gonna like turn it off. Por si acaso. And then we're gonna pour it here. So there it is. This seems to be working very, very, very well. All right guys, as you can see, it was sort of successful. There was a lot of learning curves, definitely. Um, just because it was my first time, so it was a bit challenging for me to get my ratio correctly, as in fragrance to wax. But after a little trial and error, I think I pretty much got it. Um, I will be contacting the company and asking them for a little bit more detail on if we can add the fragrance oil in the actual pot or if they do recommend to pour it in a pouring pitcher and then add the fragrance. I'm really interested to see if we can actually add the fragrance into the wax melter or if it's a smarter idea to add it in the pouring pitcher just in case you're making a lot of different scents. So 
Stay tuned for that answer. I will be contacting them before I um, upload this video. That way you guys have all the information down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this review. I do recommend purchasing because I was able to make a ton of candles in just an hour, which is which was crazy. A couple notes that I would say is do not put it up all the way to 350. It does not need to um, you do not need to put it all the way up to 350 Fahrenheit. I would suggest just keeping it at 200. It, it heats up very, very quickly. So we do have to work a little faster. I'm used to working a little bit more slow because I'm waiting. I'm usually waiting for the wax to melt in the double boiler. But in this case, everything is super fast and I feel like my mind is not used to that so it was definitely a learning curve um i will let you guys know how these candles carry as i'm like looking at them right now they do seem to have very smooth tops so i'm excited it seems like this is definitely going to be an amazing amazing purchase let me know how you guys like our first review let me know if you guys would like me to review any other candle products. I definitely would love to do that for you. I'm very intrigued in the whole science behind this all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I did want to give a quick announcement that my next video is going to be so special because we are releasing our summer collection in the next week and a half. So stay tuned for our next video because it's going to be so, so, so special. I've been planning it for a while and I cannot wait to show you guys what I have planned because it's just amazing. All right, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notification. That way you guys are notified every single time I upload a video and I will be making it a conscious effort to upload a video every week. It's my new goal and I'm pretty sure that we can absolutely reach that goal. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned and up to date with us on our social medias as well. Everything is at Sojo Candle. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. It means the absolute world. I hope you guys have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Soy yo, Rosemary Gutierrez, y hoy voy a tener un tutorial para ustedes. Como ustedes saben, yo hago velas aquí en mi canal y yo tengo una, una máquina aquí que <laughs> <laughs> Tengo una vainita aquí que tú sabes, me va a ayudar porque yo estoy ahí en esa estufa matándome, haciendo esa vela y esta vaina como me va a ayudar un chico, ¿sabes?